Hello, and welcome to my second take of Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim, and this is a podcast where I talk about my... You're going to see me reaching behind me because my dog loves to play. Uh, where I talk about my knitting, my spinning, sometimes dyeing of yarn, which I'm probably not going to do till winter. Um, family life. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do all this from my home outside of Lima, Ohio. And this is where I live with my father-in-law, Ronald. My darling, handsome husband, Randy. My kitty cat, Heather. And my puppy dog, Casper. Who should be having a chill right now because he's using his teeth. Hey, buddy, stop. Just a minute. Anyways, um, today is October 11th, 2024, and this is episode 326. Now, you can find me online on YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, and WordPress as Naturally Kim's Knitting. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as Napier's Knits, and then we have our podcast group called Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast Group. And on Instagram, you can find me as Knitten, K-N-I-T-T-I-N underscore Kim. Now, off the top of the show, let me tell you, I, for those of you who may be new, first of all, I apologize. Since I've got this puppy, my podcast has been crazy. Um, and that's been a year. <laughs> Almost a year. We got him on November 4th, a year ago. Hey, no key. Sorry. I may end up having to pause so I can chill him because he's not supposed to use his teeth. Uh, anyways, I'm an affiliate with Michaels and with Nitpicks. Just a minute. I have to chill. Sorry, I had to chill him. Um, so what being affiliate, being an affiliate means that if you were to make a purchase from Michaels, or from nitpicks, and you do, and you go through my blogger um, show notes. You will get you will you can purchase the items that way, and I get a couple pennies from your purchase. It doesn't cost you any more. It just helps us out. That way, I could turn that around and put it in gift cards for you guys. Okay, so also being an affiliate, I like to let you know what's going on. Because there are some good sales out there. Michaels is having all yarn on sale. And I, except for yarns that you can only get online. I'm thinking I read that it is um, buy one, get one free. Okay. So you can go to my blogger. Um, show notes. Thank you. And along the side, there, there's some links. You, if you click them, they're not going to do anything. I don't know why. But if you copy them and paste them in your browser, you will still go to that store, and I will get a couple pennies for for that. Okay? So, Michael... Oh, sorry, said that Michael's. I'm repeating myself. I am so sorry. I told you what Michael's has. Knit picks. Now, to go along with all that yarn that you're, you can get from Michael's, they have all needles are 20% off, and their clutch set of interchangeable needles are 30% off. Then in addition to that, they're having a friends and family sale, 20% um, off, with a code of FAMILY20, F-A-M-I-L-Y, then the numbers 2-0, FAMILY20. Then their yarn of the month is switched. So all Swish yarn is 20% off. So, I mean, between the two places, you got everything covered. Now, craft along. Sedona or Fiona, I haven't heard from you. We're getting close to the deadline. I need to hear what you would like for your prize, okay? Since I was doing a podcast today, I figured since I hadn't heard from you, usually I hear from you guys pretty fast. But I also know that 
I don't have a regular day I put my podcast out anymore. It's whatever I can find the time and all that. So, we have craft alongs. We always have two going at the same time. It's just that one may end one month and the other will end the next month. So, for September, October, we have crafting for Christmas. And what that means is if you make anything Christmas related, I mean buntings or Christmas balls or a Christmas tree skirt or, you know, anything like that. Maybe you're talented and you make wooden ornaments or, you know, any craft can be included. That's why I say crafting for Christmas. You have from September 1st till October 31st, okay? I would prefer you don't start it um, before September, that you didn't start before September 1st. And it has to be done October 31st. What I generally do, but I can't promise I'll be doing it this time, is I usually go in and on November 1st, I lock it. And then I do random number generator to find the winner. The reason I might not be able to get to it right away is because I'll be in California. And it depends what I'm doing, if I'm with the kitties or if I'm with the kitties. If I'm with my grandchildren, they're getting too big to be called kitties anymore. Um, getting, I'll be getting lots of hugs and kisses and, you know, just enjoying my time with them and Molly. But I don't make it back. I think I make it back on the 5th. Which earlier I was thinking the fourth, but no, I think it's the fifth. Um, it may not get closed till then. However, please do not enter anything new between November 1st and whenever I close it. Because I can tell by the dates when you're entering it, and I just have to take those out. Okay? Um, our other craft along that we do is finished objects. Maybe you finished something for your um, crafting for Christmas and you want to put it in, you could put it in there and then also put it in the finished object thread. I have no problems with that. If other places don't mind you, you know, posting here and there, feel free. I don't have any rules saying you can't post other places. Now, that one will be closed, what, let's see, November, no. Yeah, November 30th. And I will be home for that, so I'll probably get that locked right away. Prizes. Random number generator goes in, and he pulls out a couple numbers from all the entries. And those winners have a choice. You can have one <laughs> giftable pattern up worth up to $10, or you can have physical gift cards, that means the real, you put them in your hand and touch them. Um, physical gift cards for up to $10, for $10 from Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby's. Then I also, and for those, you would need to send your address to me, DM your address to me. Then on Nitpicks, you can get a $10 e-gift card. And for that, all I need is your email address if you win. I do not keep the addresses after I send the gifts out. So don't worry about that. They are gotten rid of. Okay, let's see. I forget where I was going after that. <laughs> I don't know, so it doesn't really matter. It wasn't important. I don't have any acquisitions. Not knitting acquisitions. I have other things, you know. I love doing devotions with Max Cicada books. And he's got one that just came out. I think it's called What Happens Next. It's a Bible study. I got the, the book and I got the um, workbook. And it talks about the end of times, basically. And I've always had questions and things, so I always go to different resources. Not that any of us will know until, we, until it happens, but you know. It just... Uh, it gives me something to occupy my mind and to help me, help get me closer to God. And if anybody does a great job with that, it's Max Cicada with me. Anyway, so I did I did acquire that, a couple luggage tags and things. I travel with a black suitcase. Do you know how many people travel with a black suitcase? So I need something that's going to make it stand apart. 
and it's not my suitcase, it's my father-in-law's. So I had thought about putting nail polish on it or something. But instead, I got um, Starry Night by Van Gogh. It's on gift um, luggage tags. And I thought if I put that on there, I'll know. it'll help me. If I can see it, it will help me know. So, yeah. So I did acquire those. A couple other things for the trip, but, you know, nothing knitting-wise. Okay. And spinning's on hold until I use up what I've got or what I've spun so far. Although I can't wait to spin again. Um, Elsie's temperature afghan's on hold. And the perfect pullover by Yarnspiration, um, which I use loops and thread yarn from Michaels on. I finished the sleeves yesterday. Because I did both my sleeves at the same time. That way they're the same size. And I don't have to worry about messing up or anything. Sleeve one. Last week I showed, I had the kitty cat behind me. The kitty cat, the perfectly, perfect pullover behind me so you could see it. So these are the sleeves. I just have to put that together. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that today. So tomorrow I can get the yarn for Tobias' sweater. Which I can show you what that is. I recorded this this far the last time. And then I realized, oops, I never pushed the record button. So this is called Good News. Not sure where I got it from. It says Robin knits from two balls. Okay. It's called Good News. There it is. I love the little cable up on top. and Even though he's what I always call a warm-blooded child, he's always warm. I know when I make him something, he's going to put it on right away. He's a sweet boy. <laughs> they are both sweet. She'll probably put hers on right away, too, because it does have a cat on it. She does love her cats. So anyway, so I I put the perfect pullover in works in progress and finished object because it is I am finished knitting it. I just have to put it together and block it. Okay, so I keep talking about my trip to California. Let me see. I have this app on my phone. Puppy thinks you're going to do something because quite often when um I get on my phone. He and I, yeah. It means it's time to groom him, and I work on my duo language. Which duo, Duolingo now has music and math. I'm not good at math, so I thought it'll get my brain working. And I love their music pro. You have to do it all on the. Um, I brought up my camera. You have to do it all on the. Oh, on the, your phone or whatever you're doing duo through, but. Um, I've got 10 days, 19 hours, till we take off for California. Yes, I am very excited. Somebody, in fact, been having to get things ready. So I have a, an appointment with my surgeon, because she's retiring. So I couldn't put it off after the trip. So I go in to see her next week. Doggy has a haircut appointment next week. He has a vet appointment next week. Oh, and I go to see the dentist next week. I said, this is crazy. But he needs to get a haircut because I cannot travel with... I can't take him out to California with all that fur. He would melt. He would turn into a white puddle. Okay. Ruddle's out in the kitchen. Puppy has to always watch, see what he's doing. He's, he's Ronald's the nursemaid. Anyway, so... um. Yeah, so that's why I think that, and he would be okay on, on his shots on the way out, but on the way back, his shots would be out of date, and they do stress that you have to have up-to-date paperwork. So, hey, he's eating his breakfast. Yeah, here it is, two o'clock, and my puppy's eating his breakfast. Anyway, so that's about all right now. I tell you, my life right now is crazy. Um... It's been a while since I've made a trip out to California. Last time we saw them, they came here. And that was two years ago. Two years two years and two months. I keep telling them, you cannot be too old to hug your grandma. Because I need lots of hugs. So, 
Yeah. So anyways, that's about all that's going on in my life. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys what you're doing, how your families are, all those things. Because otherwise, it's, you know, it's like a one-sided friendship where I do all the talking. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. And I hope all your craftiness goes perfectly. However, if you make a mistake, I hope, hope it's a little one. And that it's easy to fix. I love you all. Big hug. Take care. And God bless. Bye bye.